this is the video to show you how to copy your EM4100 card. A typical 4100 card is like this way, and it will contain 80 digits, 18 digits. The first 10 digits is for a vegan 22, and last 8 digits is for a vegan uh, 34. Yeah, okay. It can all. It can only copy this card EM4100 card. Please remember. Okay. Mm, and and also I had mentioned that it's a low frequency card and it's not high frequency. Low fre low frequency card means it is based on 125 kilohertz. Do not use for other frequencies such as MiFi, uh, 13 13 point. 56 megahertz don't use that one for copier just for low frequency card remember okay now is the reader okay I check what it is that's three three core three key fobs for copier purpose and a reader here Let me check out now that's done testing okay now let's load the battery Okay, this is the this is the reader. Okay, when you put the button on, uh, up you the on, and off when you push this button off. Okay, there's three buttons, three light here. It's power, and pass and reset. This is state state light, and this is the reader light. There's just two two menus, uh, two buttons here. And firstly, uh, let's copy. Do copy papers, okay? Okay. And I will show you that the series number. This is series number. We're going to copy the whole strings, 18 digits. And we're just using one key for, for testing. Okay, now let's see our software and readers. These are readers, low frequency readers. And it's in this green. And the software. Okay, let's check these numbers. Yes, this current number is. Uh, check out this. This eighteen digit. This is the first ten digit, and this last eight digit. Remember, it's fifty two. Okay, zero zero fifty two zero zero. Okay. And now. We put this card, this card is, yeah, put this card on here, and check the number again. Okay, this is the number we want to copy. So check out. Okay, okay, let's do it. The copy paper, the copy process is simple. Just follow, follow my, uh, follow my steps. Okay, this is the uh, key fob we want to, we, we just, uh, just used. Okay, now if it's simple, firstly, read the original card. This is the original card we want to copy, and just click read. Okay, see the green light? It means you read. And now put a new card here for writing purpose. Okay, just just uh, uh, press write. Okay, now see the green light? It means it write properly. And let's check if it's write it. Okay. Now put this on this key, on this. And let's read. Let's read again. 
Okay, now let's clear. Now let's see first clear this. Okay, it's a very it's a different numbers. Now we put this away and use this one. And let's check. Zero zero eight seven. Yeah, is it the same? Yeah, it is the same. Okay, this is the writing purpose. It's a writing functions, and uh, we're going to erase this. How to? I I teach you how to erase this now. This writing writing card. Okay, now it's very simple. Okay, let's try. It's very simple. Just first of this one, and now ohm, and push this on here, and now use the right. You will write the key form as blank. Okay, let's testing if it is blank now. Okay, and now let's do it again. No, no reading means it's all blanked because all format was right was was just uh, was just erased. And now let's check again if we can write again. Okay, still as operation as before. Okay, let's do rebooting and read. Okay, and write. Okay, now let's do it. Let's check again to see if it worked. Uh oh, sorry. Now read the card. Yes, it's still read. Okay, now let's check the serial number. Yes. Is it same? Yeah, the same. Okay, that's the whole process of copy and erase and recopy. So, okay, just to remember, should we use this one? Should we use EM4100 cards for copying a purpose? Do not use the other cards. Thank you. Thanks for watching.